Food is an important ingredient in the process of world and character building. It demonstrates culture, economy, and social status. There's a difference between a warm home-cooked meal and something you'd find at a fancy restaurant, but when it comes to animation, portraying these subtleties can be a challenge. Normally, when there's going to be food in a show, someone will go out, collect reference materials, and the animator would create it based on that. But for something like Shaft's 2015 series, Gourmet Girl Graffiti, where they're eating all the time, they needed consistency and quality. And for that, they created the role of Cuisine Coordinator, a job that involved overseeing all food and eating scenes within the show. At OtaQuest, we reached out to the animator that embodied this role, Shaft's Yoshiaki Ito. All it takes is one good look at the food in this show to realise the importance of his position, but the effort that is put into it isn't necessarily apparent. For instance, Akiyuki Shimbo served as chief director on the show and had very high standards for the food. So Ito would go up to him, show him an illustration, and he'd be like, well, it's not quite there yet. And so Ito would have to go back to the team and constantly trial and error it. Eventually, the color key artist, the cinematographer, and Ito himself decided to use a higher number of layers to create the image. The idea was that the digital teams could isolate single parts of the food and adjust the color and lighting to improve the final product. Ito showed us an example where the source omelette, and even the toasted marks on the egg would be separately drawn and then brought back together into this omelette rice. This gave it depth, further detail, and a whole lot of appeal. But still, it's important to get to grips with reality. It's all said that animators now have an easier time finding references thanks to food videos on the internet. The ability to see how dishes are constructed and eaten is a real boon to representing that in animation. Ito specifically pointed out the abundance of Omurice split videos on YouTube, which help get an idea of how it should split in animation. Although, of course, anime still has a schedule, and still has a budget. Despite Ito's preference for going overboard with detail and a work ethic that has led him to even redrawing other people's work, he's still aware that there sometimes comes the need to cut back. So whilst these money shots will have a load of effort put into them, they'll cut down on the amount of layers and detail for further shots, a common practice in animation. Gourmet Girl Graffiti had a unique production environment where they'd planned on all of this work for just the food, but of course, this isn't true for every series. For instance, when Ito was asked to do a food scene in March Comes In Like a Lion, he kept the detail in check and used as few layers as possible so that the rest of the staff could keep up. So in animating food, it's important to find a load of reference material, even if that means making it yourself, pay close attention to detail, use a load of layers if you need to, and consider the character's personality in how they eat food. Visit otaquest.com to read our full two-part interview with Yoshiaki Ito and subscribe to this channel to learn more about Japanese pop and subculture.